I am going to go a little geeky on you for my uh, pick of the week. I mentioned before Hacker News. Hacker News, to me, is product hunt for geeks. Uh, it's gone through ups and downs. People were trying to game it for a while, and I'm just a huge fan. It's Y Combinator's news feed. And every time I go to Hacker News, and I go there several times a day, there's something new and just weirdly geeky. Um, somebody's written a, a JavaScript autocomplete from Stack Overflow, so you no longer have to copy and paste code from Stack Overflow. It'll <laughs> actually just fill it in, uh, which uh, that was fun. But the the thing I found that I really like is uh, called transfer.sh. This is from a, a, a group of coders in Utrecht, uh, uh, the Netherlands, they call themselves Dutch coders. They write really interesting stuff, but this one's awesome. Now, it's a command line utility that allows you to share files from the command line. They're offering free storage for files up to 10 gigabytes. You can upload it. You'll get a unique URL that you can share with anybody, and the file stays there for two weeks. Transfer.sh, but even better. Now, I like command line utilities. But even better, uh, you can they give you a, a little script you can add to your Bash profile. So you can, let me just see what I have on my uh, my drive here. Uh, let's do, uh, I'm going to transfer. I'll show you. I've made a script now that has the transfer command. Transfer my bash .r, .bash RC file. Whoops. What have I done? It stopped working, so I'll have to, uh, <laughs> I'll have to source my uh, bash RC again. I don't know what happened there. But it's awesome. I mean... Oh, I'm such a bad typist. Maybe that's part of the problem. <laughs> Command line. Uh, but it's awesome because it uploads it, gives you a unique URL. You can share that URL. All of this is for free. And they even give you source code on GitHub if you want. And I'm going to run this. I'm going to put this on my own server, and I'll have my own very easy-to-use file transfer. If you take the, uh, the URL that you used from transfer.sh and you paste it into your browser. By the way, it's all HTTPS. Nobody has to log in. They just you can show the screen. They just go to the website and click a download button, and they get the file. What a cool little tool! Thank you, Dutch coders. It's been around for a year, but um, I just saw it on Hacker News. So a couple of tips for you.